my name is Brittany J. Jones, and in this video, I will be demonstrating how to grade our seams, trim our seams, clip into curves, and also trim corners. Let's get started. To demonstrate how to trim seams, clip into curves, trim corners, we're going to be using these pieces of fabric here. It is important to trim your seams while you are sewing. It helps to reduce the bulk in your garments and it allows the seams to lay nice and flat once you press them. So trimming is very important when you are sewing your garments. The first thing that I'm gonna demonstrate is layering your seam allowance. So if you're working with some bulky fabric, if you just trimmed it all the same size, you're only shortening your seam. It's not reducing the bulk, you're just making it smaller. So if you're working with maybe some wool, if you're making a coat, or even some denim, or just something heavy, you may want to layer the seam. That way it reduces the bulk a little bit better, especially if you have more than two layers. Sometimes you're trying to sew three layers of fabric and things just get really bulky. So it's a good idea to layer those seams. And when you layering your seams, you want to just think about trimming them at different heights. So you could trim one down to three eighths of an inch, one down to a quarter of an inch. If you have three seams, you may trim it down to a half an inch, three eighths of an inch, a quarter of an inch. You just don't want to trim them all at the same width going across because again, it's trimming the seam, but it's still keeping the bulk in it. And the purpose of trimming seam is to reduce the bulk. So for example, I'm gonna be using this fabric here. I'm just gonna take my scissors. And for the first one here, I'm just gonna trim that one down by a quarter of an inch. Okay, now that I have trimmed the first one down, I can go even shorter with this one here. Again, you just want to layer the seams. Okay, as you saw, I trimmed both of my seam allowances down, but I trimmed a little bit more off of this one here in the front than I did the back, and that is just layering the seam allowance. And you want to layer it to help reduce bulk, especially if you're working with really thick fabrics or just a lot of layers of fabric on your seam. So this is a great option to help reduce bulk. So this is a great way to trim your seams to help reduce bulk. The next seam that we're going to trim is one that has a point. So to trim a point, you want to grab your scissors and we're just going to trim it down. Once you get closer to your point, you want to start to come in just slightly there. You don't want to be too close because you don't want to turn it out and you're so close to your thread that you end up undoing your stitch, but you do want to get a little bit closer as you get to the point than you have been in your trim leading up to it. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side as well. Okay, I've trimmed a little closer here. And then across your point, you want to cut off the tip. I'm going to turn this out to take a quick look at what that point will look like once we turn it right side out. So this is what the point will look like once you flip it right side out, and then you can give it a nice press. So on the inside here, let's take one more look at it. So again, with trimming this corner, I started trimming down my seam to about a quarter of an inch. And as I got closer to the point, then I came in a little bit more so toward the point. And at the tip of the point, you just want to cut off that tip. If I did not do any of that trimming, then once I turned this right side out, I would not have a really nice, clean, sharp looking point here on the end of the garment that you're creating. So again, make sure that you are trimming and reducing the bulk up here so that when you flip it right side out, you will have a nice clean point. The next one that we're gonna look at is clipping inner corners. So this right here would be an inner corner. This is similar to a facing. So when you see this, you want to clip into your inner corner. You also want to trim it down. So I'm gonna trim it down because this is 5 eighths of an inch. So I just wanna trim some of that off. And now you can clip into your inner curve. You just wanna do clips here. Okay, once you have clipped into your inner curves, 
you can see here my clips here and what you want to do is I want to try to show you what happens when you open this out and you start to flip it right side out. You can see it starts to spread right here and that's what you want on your inner curves. We need it to spread so that we can fold that over, give it a really good press and everything lays nice and flat. Now, if you didn't clip into it, then it would kind of be still pulling and tight right here. So it's important to make sure that you not only trim your seam, but you also clip into your inner curves so that the fabric gives and spreads like so, and then you're able you're able to press it over and you will have a really nice, clean, flat seam. The last one that we're gonna take a look at is your outer curves. For these curves, we want to notch them. We don't want to clip these. We clip the inner curves, but we want to notch these outer curves like so. To do that, first I'm going to trim down my seam. Okay, once you have it trimmed, now I'm just gonna start notching this. And to notch it, we're just making tiny triangles. Like so. Be sure not to clip through your seam. Okay, once we have notched the outer curve, this is what this one looks like when we get ready to turn it in. So instead of spreading like the inner curve did, this one here, it kind of all just goes down into the curve. And so you want to take out as much of fabric as you can. That's why we clip some of it and take it out. If we didn't do that, it will be a lot of bumps and ripples in here. It's important that you notch into them and remove that bulk out. So once you have it notched out, then your seam will lay nice and flat and you'll be able to give this a press and you have a nice curve. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration on why it's important to trim your seams as well as the different types of trimming, grading, and notching that you will see while sewing patterns.